installing the VaporX, first step, you've got four standoffs, which will go into the holes surrounding the CPU. with the threads going through the back of the motherboard. Looking from the back of the motherboard, you can see the thread comes through and will actually go through the opening in the back plate. That, of course, is repeated for all four. Once all four of the standoffs are, are through, we are simply going to take four nuts and tighten them right into place. Now we've got the four standoffs in place inside of the motherboard as you can see. Now typically um, you would want the cooler firing front to rear. Um, you do have the option of using it with a bottom to top flow. On this particular motherboard uh, as well as another ASUS motherboard I have just tried, i um, going to have to go with bottom to top firing simply because the retaining ring bracket and ring will not fit with the VRM heatsink up top. Uh, it's, like I say, both motherboards I've tried, the VRM heatsink interfered with installing it for front to rear firing. So what we're going to do, making sure we have upside facing out, is lay the retaining ring onto the four standoffs and they will, it will then screw down with four screws. So now we've got the retention bracket in place, as you can see. Thermal interface material has been applied to the CPU. <clears throat> and to finish the installation, we are simply going to put the cooler into place. Two screws, one on either side. We'll tighten into the retention bracket. And they do have a stop point, so you just screw until they stop. And it is a little pressure mount into place. And final step, install the fans. I've already gone ahead and installed the Y adapter. Fans will clip onto the unit. And fans will simply have to be plugged into the motherboard header. As you can see, um, the VaporX doesn't take up a tremendous amount of room in the case. Good looking in the case with the Sapphire logo. VaporX right here will light up in blue LED. Uh, now, were this turned around, you would have all four RAM slots open. As it stands now, it does block the first RAM slot. But like I say, turned around uh, with front to rear firing, if your motherboard allows, will allow all four RAM slots to be unblocked. Uh, nice looking install, very easy to accomplish. Um, once again, as I say, unfortunately on some Z77 motherboards, VRM heatsink is going to be in the way of the retaining ring, so you'll have to do a bottom-to-top firing, uh, which was the case in this, uh, in this case.